everyone, welcome to another episode of the Digital Nomad series with myself, Alejandra, and the CEO of Loose Collective, where we do a deep dive of what it means to be a digital nomad. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this. Hola. Can you hear me? Yes. What was that? I'm coming to you live from Playa del Carmen from my Airbnb kitchen. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that we have this notion that the U.S. is, you know, the safe space and anywhere else you have to be extra cautious and you, you know, it's like, no, like our, our own streets are more dangerous than some of these spaces that we're visiting, right? Correct, um, correct. And even as, as, as we do research, it's like, well, yeah, also don't stand out like a sore thumb when, when you're traveling, right? Right. Like, like if you're going to travel to Mexico and you know, there's certain customs or certain things that you should be uh, acclimating to during your travel, if it's going to be extended, then you should consider that. Right. Um, what are some precautions that you, you were like, no, okay. Like I, I know that I shouldn't like be concerned about like general, like, like cartels probably aren't going to kidnap me, but what were some precautions that you were like, okay, but I need, I need to have these things in my life before I move out there. Well, first and foremost, I would say if anyone is considering traveling for an extended time, especially as a woman, unfortunately, we have already been trained for this. The, the same precautions that we take every single day at home. I lived in downtown LA. In many, many ways, I feel significantly safer here than I did in any given moment walking around in downtown LA, especially at night especially at night, right? And so we've already taken, we've already learned how to keep ourselves safe, unfortunately, right? We know how to um, de decrease the likelihood of being assaulted. We know mm -hmm. that we should be checking our surroundings all the time. We know that um, it's probably not a good idea to be by yourself at, late at night in any in any place, right? And and frankly, like, you know, the situation in, in London not that long ago with the young lady who was snatched as she was walking home, um, that she wasn't walking home late at night in, in some deserted area, right? She was in this populated massive city early a little earlier on in the in the night. Mm -hmm. And and that's that didn't help her, right? So at the end of the day, simply because we are women we are always going to be bigger targets. That's, that's unfortunately just the, the reality of our existence. And, and we're obviously working to try to change that, right? But if you know how to take care of yourself in the city that you currently live in, you will be able to take care of yourself no matter where you go. It, it really is just, it's that simple. It's having common sense. It's keeping your wits about you and making good judgment calls. That being said, um, yeah, there's, there's definitely customs that, that you should learn um, if that's the case, depending on what country you're going to, right? Like for, for Latinos specifically, not just Mexicans, but Latinos from any Latin American country, if you've ever been to um, your home country before or you're just familiar with Latino culture, um, you, you, you're already kind of acclimated, you know? And to be honest, there wasn't anything new I had to learn here. There wasn't, you know, I, I never once worried about any of these stereotypical things that people would mention. Um, but I also wasn't worried about my own safety because as soon as you get to the place, you're aware, or you should be at least, right? Like you, you get to the airport and you're already familiar. Okay. What, what? what um, transportation am I going to take, right? Like have all of those things planned in advance. Don't just obviously show up and get into yeah. some random car, right? With some random driver. I mean, even in a taxi situation, you want to be precautious up front until you, you know, kind of get acclimated to your surroundings. So just plan in advance, you know what to expect. Um, and that's it. But again, like, that is literally nothing different than you would do if you traveled from LA to New York 
right? Or if you traveled wherever, like you, I guess that's what I'm really trying to emphasize to people is that the tools that you need to be safe traveling as a single woman or even just traveling as a woman, period, right? Whether you're traveling with a partner or even your family, um, we already know essentially how to keep ourselves safe. And, and, you, and people shouldn't be afraid and they shouldn't fall for, um, for the, you know, the, the false stereotypes that exist about the country that you are, that you are moving to. 